the V06 is what they call bi-directional, which means not only can it receive information, but it can also send information. So you can, you know, perhaps in things like injectors, sometimes you have to tell if you put a new battery on, you have to tell it's got a new battery and you, you have to set the, the voltage. Any different parts on the car, it, you put a brand new part on and you're left scratching your head, it still won't work. And it won't work because you've got to tell the car that that part has been fitted, which, which this does in a lot of occasions, but I would suggest you check first. So that's the Bluetooth dongle. That's it plugged in. Now, also, if you get a fault, say, on an electric door mirror or electric window or anything that's got a switch, sometimes an electric door mirror will, won't go a certain way. Now, again, that could be anything. I, I suppose it could be the motor, it could be the components in the mirror, or it could just be the switch. Windows, sometimes they'll, they'll go down, but then they won't go up. Again, it, it could be something in the door, it could be the motor, or it could be the switch. And with this, here we go. We'll just, so, we'll just set it. Those beeps, that's it connected. We'll do the automatic search. Brings all the information up. Yes. Instrument cluster. Vehicle information, special function. Alarm security, electronic parking brake. Um, well, you, you probably won't be able to see the electric because it's not like it comes up like so. So tire pressure monitoring system, steering, air suspension, headlamp, battery, brake bleed, injectors, door, window, surround, tailgate. So let's have a look at that. So there we go, body systems, roof blind calibration, body systems, door window calibration, body systems, sunroof calibration, tailgate trunk calibration. Well, I, I'm not gonna calibrate anything because it's blooming throwing it down. So let's see, we'll, we'll go into seat. So here you go. Again, your passenger seat, you've, you've got about five different controls on the side of the passenger seat. And it, it up and down, back and forward, um, seat rake adjustment and also these fold in. You've got lumbar support. But here we go. There's the passenger seat calibration. So we'll go into passenger seat calibration. Set the ignition switch to on position two, it is. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it, A, you don't have to have, while you're doing it, you don't have to have somebody else pressing the seats, uh, controls or, or other controls. It's just, it's just so, it's, it's like having an extra man or an apprentice that, that's not really annoying. The auto search function to find the model as well, that's just tremendous. System selection, there we go. Let's just go body control module, steering angle sensor, all terrain control module. There's the heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Again, clear fault code, read data stream. So again, live data stream. If I do that and switch on. Air conditioning status, compressor, air conditioning clutch engaged air conditioning system pressure, so we'll click on there, and then click OK. If Now it shows you, it's telling the pounds per square inch, but also, if I click on there, it'll give me a graph. There you go, you see the graph there. So, I can then see if anything, if all of a sudden something goes off, 
I can see it, uh, it spike. If I just rev, there you go. Little spike and then up. If I turn it down, let's just turn that down. Oh, that's that's on synced at the moment, so I'll turn it right down to low. Latched reserve on. It's showing you the, the fluctuation in pressure there as it cycles. But as I say, you've got a graph as well. So we'll just knock that off. Go back. Knock that off. Blower speed output. So we're going to blower speed output, OK. And all these things which you, you would have to take to pieces and put a multimeter on or something. Here we go. So that's the graph there blower speed if I turn that on you see there it goes straight up so we know each position's working there you go as I turn it down each one it, it, and you, there's, there's just loads of stuff I mean there's just too much to, to do but all stuff like that switches you do you just wouldn't know you, you you can't without taking all the dash off and putting your multimeter on the back of the switch which which these days especially with electric cars you just press the wrong thing on an electric car and, it, and it's bang but uh there you go look <laughs> worth its weight in gold thanks for watching if there's anything you'd like to see or like to see me try and do I'm not an expert by any means, I'm just feeling my way through this. But if there's anything that you'd, you'd like me to try and do, uh, leave, leave a suggestion in the, well, <laughs> any, 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 any stuff that's not physically impossible, leave a suggestion in the, in the comments and I'll, I'll try and do it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Bye bye.